Hey, Cooper, good to see you again. Uh, Chris Kleiman said last week that he was really encouraged by the progress of the offensive line, but you guys had a lot of depth. We're looking good during spring practice. What, what's your take on the unit? Do you guys think you're that improved? Um, yeah, I definitely believe um, from last year, we've definitely taken giant steps. Um, just getting uh, reps together and, you know, uh, obviously we had not a lot of experience last year, but, you know, getting those reps and continuing to get those reps, I think we've taken a huge step from last year. What would you say is your preferred position on the line at this point? Um, really, I just – I don't really have a preference. Whatever, you know, coach needs me to play, I'll play. Um, it really doesn't matter to me. I mean, I I practice at all positions um, this spring. I'm even starting to uh, get a couple snaps in. So, you know, whatever the team needs me to play is where I'm going to play. Okay, cool. I, I didn't project you as a center, but that's good to know. I, I was also going to ask uh, on that topic, how big is it that Noah Johnson's back? Oh, it's huge. Um, Noah is definitely one of the leaders of not just the O line, but of the whole team. And, uh, you know, he collectively keeps us all together and uh, keeps us going. It's just huge. All right. Thanks, Cooper. Appreciate it. Thank you. Adam. Cooper, with another year under your belt and your experience in this offense, how effective overall do you think this offense can be now in the Big 12? especially with both Noah and Skyler back? Um, I definitely think we can take huge steps from last year. I don't I don't think last year is really who we were, and we're definitely out to prove that we're a lot better as an offense than what we showed up last year. Fitz? Hey, Cooper. Um, <clears throat> The depth along that offensive line is really incredible, isn't it? How competitive is it in practice? Oh, it's very competitive. We have multiple positions where there's competitions, which we really hadn't, hadn't had in a while. So it's, you know, it's pushing even like me and everybody on the line. Nobody, nobody spots the key right now. So it's just a lot of competition. So it's pushing us to elevate our game and, you know, come fall. I think that's definitely going to help us out. Give me a young guy or two that, uh, maybe played a little bit last year or maybe not that seems to be showing great advancements here coming into the spring oh uh, one of the dudes actually I've been very impressed with is Hadley Panzer um you know I know he hasn't been here long but I think one of the biggest things when you get here is just understanding how the offense works and like how, how it all functions and I've seen really for him only being on campus for like five months, I think he's shown huge improvements. I'm very interested to see uh, him develop and see where he turns out. Thanks, Cooper. I appreciate it. Thank you. Derek? Yeah, Cooper, have you guys done any contact stuff with the defensive line yet, or has it all been pretty simple at this point? Uh, yeah, um, we actually – our first day of pads was the other day, and we actually – started straight away with board drill, you know, we got the pads popping and then um, obviously team has been pretty, I mean, we've scrimmaged full, full go. So, you know, we've already started hitting and going uh, head on head. So that's yeah, it's been fun, you know, it's, it's st getting pads popping right away is fun for me. So. <laughs> and what are your first impressions, I guess, cause you're probably going up against them quite a bit actually with the new trains for Timothy Horn, a defensive tackle. Oh, I've, I've been very impressed by Timothy. He, you know, it, for a big dude, he moves real well, great use of hands, and is very shifty. I know when you go against him, you know, you got to watch out for him for sure. Is there any, uh, I guess, young defensive linemen that you go up against in practice that have seemed to take a giant step forward as well? Um, oh, let me see. I think one of the dudes, he's not necessarily young, but mm -hmm. um, I think Jalen Pickle has been the dude that I've seen with huge improvements. I know um, just he's got, got some time playing last year, but this spring so far, I've seen huge improvements, and he's definitely one of the dudes that I would watch out for if, if you're opposing offense. All right. Thank you, Cooper. Michael. Yeah, Cooper, what did year one for you do as far as opening your eyes to the speed of the game and physicality of the game? 
Um, yeah, it was definitely a huge eye opener. Obviously, when you come take that next step from high school to college, it's definitely a huge change of pace and just getting comfortable, you know, with how how fast the game is and how physical it is. I mean, it really just helps me out a lot. I mean, you got to understand that, you know, you're not playing against high schoolers anymore, that, you know, every, everybody's flying around, they're hitting. So just getting used to that and training my body to take that day in, day out has really helped me. And how much did you learn as far as being vocal on the offensive line and being more of a, a talker and, and communicating with guys along the line? Uh, yeah, once I, you know, once I started getting in the offense and once I started feeling more comfortable, I've definitely, you know, vocalized a lot more and trying to take on that leadership role um, for the team. So it's something I've been trying to work on throughout the spring.